Hey guys, Drew here and welcome back to yet again another video pertaining to the ASUS ROG G20. So today, of course, as you can probably tell by the title and this sitting here, I'm going to be teaching you all how to upgrade your graphics card in the ASUS ROG G20. So before we get into this and I show you how to do it, I just want to tell you guys a few things you're going to need to know. Of course, you're going to need a screwdriver. I got some sort of interchangeable screwdriver here. Don't even know what it is. And you're going to, of course, need these power cables. If you're going for something like the 970, 960, or above, you're going to want these two power cables because they're going to have to plug into there. These came with the PC, which is very nice. So if you still have these, I suggest using these. They'll really help you out. And um, besides that, of course, you'll need the computer. And I could also suggest you have something like a heavy weight or just a large piece of metal by your side so you could just touch it occasionally to make sure you're discharged of any static so you don't kill any parts like the graphics card or the entire computer. So besides that, now let's actually get into this. I'm going to put the graphics card off to the side and we're going to I'm going to show you guys how to crack this computer open. Remove all the screws so we get inside and then we could actually upgrade the graphics card. So let's start this out up top here. What we're going to want to do is pull off this panel. You simply pull it from the back. You're going to hear some cracks, don't worry, it won't break, it's somewhat flexible. Now, what you're going to want to do, there's one screw up here you're going to have to remove. That's right in here, so let's simply remove that screw. It's a lot easier to remove, I must say, than it is to put back in because it's in that small little hole. It might help if you have a magnetic screwdriver for this. I could definitely suggest you get one of those. Now what we're going to want to do is flip this over onto its bottom, and we have one more screw to remove before we could pop off this panel. This screw right here, you're going to remove this. Alright, there we go. I apologize for that. My goodness. That screw did not want to come out. So now what you guys are going to have to do is just simply lay the computer flat on its side with the stickers facing up. And what you're going to want to do to open up this panel is just push from the back like that. It's going to pop open. This little thing is going to pop out. You can just push that back in. And before you do pull this off, you're going to have this cable here. We have to, of course, undo simply pull these out and if you guys want to know what that is these are just the power cables for the lights on the case and with that aside here we go we have the inside of the case just so you guys if you haven't seen my past video on the inside of the G20 here we have the graphics card the hard drive the CPU cooler we have the RAM and the motherboard all under here but of course Today we're going to focus mainly on the actual graphics card removal, and I apologize if I'm heavily breathing here, I'm doing a lot of movement and stuff, so let's get into this, touch your heavy metal, make sure your discharge is static, and we're going to have to remove a few screws here, we're going to have to remove this screw right here, this screw right there, this screw right there, this screw right there, a screw up here, and this screw on the bottom, so there's quite a few screws to remove, but of course it's going to hold your damn graphics card nice and safe in there, so let's get this party started. Alright, so now once you have these four screws removed, it took me a while, I edited it, but I lost this damn screw in there, I had to shake the computer around and get it out. I'd suggest you be careful with that. Now we're going to want to remove, of course, two more screws. We're going to remove this screw on the top and this one screw here on the bottom, if you all can see that screw, and of course, this one on the top. And alright, now we have all the screws removed that we need to remove to actually get into this graphics card slot. And of course, if you guys didn't see that, just once again, there's a screw that goes there, 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 there. There's a screw that goes onto the top of this red panel and one that goes into the bottom. Now all you got to do is just pull out this red panel here, hold in by these little forks, and it comes out pretty easy. Now what we're going to be able to do is actually lift this tray out that holds the graphics card. Be careful with this. Of course, the first time you're probably going to be extra careful because you're scared. You don't want to break the damn G20 and be careful with that. Of course, the graphics card is plugged in, so I suggest trying to pull on the graphics card. Depending on the GPU you have, it's a little easier. Some you don't even have to pull on, but this 750 is quite small and it does move, so I wanted to hold on to that. And there you go. Now we have the actual tray out that holds the graphics card, as you can see here. This is the 750 from Asus that I have here, and we're going to want to remove this and upgrade that damn card. So we have one screw that we have to remove right here, if you guys can see this. Get this a little closer to the camera. Just remove this. And there we go. Now we have that screw removed. Just like that, now what we're going to have to do is simply pull this little panel back like that. It's going to take a little force, it's a little loose for me because I've done it quite a few times. 
but of course, when you first do it, you got to put a bit of force into it. Don't worry about breaking anything. I know it's kind of scary opening up a computer for the first time, especially if you recently got it. There you go. Now you could pull out the 750. You could put this just to the side here, and you might want to get rid of your old graphics card, but you're going to have to keep this little elbow connector here. Just like that. Just pull it right off, and there you go. Put the 750 or whatever you have to the side and pull out your beautiful new graphics card. Here I have the 970. But what we're going to want to do before this, which is going to be kind of tricky, is connect the two power cables. So I'll show you all where you have to connect those power cables. As you can see down here, we have this connector for the 8 pin and we have this connector for the 6 pin. And one thing I'd like to tell you all that a very loyal subscriber told me, I was very happy he did. This 8-pin connector that comes is actually a 6 plus 2. So all you have to do is push up. You see it's 8 pins. You push this up and it disconnects just like that into a 6 and an 8-pin because my 970 is a dual 6-pin card. So there we go. So what we're going to want to do is connect the 8-pin connector here. You're going to want to bend this a little bit. It's going to be kind of tricky to get in there. So let's get it in there. All right, that's a quite a while. It's kind of tricky to put them in there initially. I'll show you guys a little closer up what it looks like now that we have these two connected. You're gonna have to do one more thing here on this motherboard. As you can see, we have this little thing here and it's titled JDC11. Kind of hard to show you that. Right there, JDC11, what you're gonna wanna do is pull this little tab off and then put it over to the left side because there are three total pins and you just want to put it on because it has this right exposed and that's what you want to do. There you go, you have that. And that's basically going to enable the extra power adapter. I will have that link down in the description if you guys have a model that doesn't have two power connectors. I apologize, the phone is going off in the background if that's annoying. But now you have this JDC there, and you have these two connected. It's going to be a little bit tricky to get it connected into the 970, get it into the case, but we're going to be able to figure this out. I, I think so, I hope so. So let's actually try and um, get this done. How I think I'm gonna go through with this is put the 970 into this thing first, connect these cables, and then put it in. So just to get the 970 in there, I'll show you guys this. Sorry, I wanna keep this all into frame. It's kinda of tricky here with the damn tripod. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is put the 970 into the cage. And just so you guys know, if you had the 750, which is only a one slot card, make sure you remove this little piece out of there so you could get the 970 in there. I actually didn't notice that when I first tried doing this. It was very silly of me and I wasted a lot of time and then I figured that was there. So now you just have the 970 slid in there. Nice. Sadly, you won't see the green light. That's that's too bad. But there we go. Now what you're going to want to do is of course connect this little screw. Just put the screw back in there and make sure the 970 is pushed back so that screw hole is open. All right, now we have this thing screwed in. I apologize. Well, I did edit that out, but it took me quite a while to get in there. You have to make sure the 970 is positioned properly so there is an open hole there for the screw to go into. Now, so what we're gonna wanna do here is connect the six pin and the eight pin connector into the graphics card in the holes. Wherever this is on your graphics card should be in a similar location. So push those in until you hear a slight click, and then, of course, the 8-pin that's separated into the 2 plus 6. Just connect that into there. And now we have our two power cables connected into the 970, so we're going to have to try and lay this very carefully in here so those cables will work. Let's try and get this in. Oh, wait, actually, I almost made a mistake. I'm the damn video maker here, and we're going to have to connect the little elbow connector, of course, so it could connect to the motherboard and, yeah, give you that image. So let's get this on there. Don't be worried about using a little bit of force. And there we go. Now we have it nicely connected to the 970, whatever GPU you'd like to upgrade to. So let's try and put this thing down in here. It's going to be a little bit tricky at first. Let me see. Maybe we should try and flatten this out a little bit. All 
Alright, so after quite a long time of trying to get it in there, I just suggest trying to flatten those cables under the graphics card and put it on top. It was tricky, so now what we're going to want to do is install these damn screws back in. It was very tricky to get that graphics card in there. I was kind of scared about damaging it, but we got it in there. No damage. We are all good. Alright, so we have these three main screws in, so now what we're going to want to do is put this damn red panel on. <laughs> I'm very surprised by how tricky this was, actually. It was a little tricky to get that 970 in there, but we did successfully get it in there, which makes me quite happy. So now we're going to want to get this red panel onto the back here. There we go. And we're going to want to screw this thing into the back. All right, so now we finally have all those darn screws in. It took me a lot longer than I expected to get this process done. Over 25 minutes of recording now. I don't know how long the video is going to be once I edit it up, but let's finally get this darn panel on, and we could finally, you know, really get to gaming with the new graphics card. Although, just for you, just so you all know, in my situation, I currently have to, or I have my. Um, order in for the 180 watt power supply that I need, but it's not going to be arriving for another day or two, which makes me pretty sad. I hope it comes tomorrow, and that, that would be great. So I can't really use this yet, but I wanted to show you all because I was getting a crap ton of requests. So connect these two cables once again if you want to have those lights, and I'd suggest trying to place those cables in there so they don't get into the way of the fans or anything like that. I'll try and show this on camera. Just try and lay these cables into here flat and put this back on and there we go. Now what you can do is slide that back just like that and we have to put the last two screws in and then you can get to gaming and have some fun. Alright, so now that we finally have that screw in there, it took me literally forever to get in there. So we're just going to put this panel right onto the top. You just click it on just like this and maybe go from the back to the front. Get it on there, just like that. And there we go, guys. You now have your new graphics card in the PC, and you could toss your old one out or sell it on eBay or do what you wish with it. Besides that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It took me nearly 45 minutes to do this. I was very surprised. It took me forever to get that damn screw into the top. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of requests for it, and I know this will help a lot of you. And yeah, besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have links to all the things I used in this video and the adapter you gotta buy and anything else. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.